All right. So today I wanted to get into lucid dreaming a little bit. There's not much to cover, but I do want to start with this. To everyone that subscribed, thank you. You've made it to 60. Um, I appreciate everyone who subscribed. And thank you for showing me that you at least find my little rambling somewhat interesting. Um, <laughs> so, thank you. Um, on that note, if you guys want me to try and cover a topic, just don't be afraid to leave a comment down on pretty much any of the videos. Um, but no, that's pretty much it. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get into lucid dreaming. So, lucid dreaming is basically the ability to remain conscious within your, you know, dreams. Everybody knows this. Everyone sort of has their own little technique. And through lucid dreaming, you could actually use it to help perform your goals, whatever, mundane or magical. Um, and th this is done by just being able to practice whatever you want to, you know, practice and practice it within the dream. Um, so, I mean, you can do that. And then there's also all the fun stuff like you could fly, you could even talk to spirits, you could learn how to dream walk. Um, and I even know of some people who learn how to astral eject through lucid dreaming. Um, but anyway, we're just going to start with like the very basics. So if you're sort of struggling to begin lucid dreaming and you want to begin it, um, one thing I highly recommend you do, I know I did this when I first started out and then it just sort of became a habit, but every once in a while when you're just walking around and doing your day-to-day -day activities, um, ask yourself if you're dreaming. So that way it just becomes a sort of subconscious habit and it'll sort of happen when you're actually in a dream state. And I'm going to be honest, the first time you realize that you're dreaming and you become lucid, you are most likely going to wake yourself up because you're going to get excited. So after like two or three times of learning how to become lucid or at least recognize a dream from reality and remain in that dream, and that just comes down to practice. Um, you will most likely wake yourself up out of excitement of like, oh my God, I was able to, you know, become lucid. Um, so, on top of the simple asking uh, if you're dreaming or not, then you could also do things such as look at your hands. Sometimes uh, you'll see more fingers, less fingers, or they'll sort of be like wavy. Or you could look at a clock. The clock will never remain in a constant time. Um, so some people say you won't be able to read in dreams, but... I've been able to read books in dreams and actually retain what some of them said. Uh, but I don't know. But sometimes if you like look at a poster, it might appear like the words might appear backwards, sort of like a mirror image or upside down, or it might just seem like a bunch of squiggly moving lines. Um, so some things you could do in... so. Now I just want to go over some things that you can do while you're in a lucid dream. Just some techniques I've sort of picked up. So if you want to 
sort of bring someone to your dream. And this isn't like dream walking. This is just like making someone who you know, who you're sort of friends with, and have them sort of be like a companion or something in your dream. And if you know they're not in there to begin with, and you're lucid, and you know that you're dreaming, then all you got to do is say out loud, like, hey, what's your name? Or what do you think of this? And name the person. And then you'll either turn a corner or turn around and they will be there. Um, that's for basically bringing people into existence in your dreams. Um, you could fly, breathe underwater. Like I said, you could talk to gods. Um, <laughs> but I mean, that's more of a rarity. And if you do end up talking to an entity, make sure that you verify in the morning when you're like, know you're like consciously awake that you're actually speaking to an entity. And you're not just like, you know, <laughs> making stuff up in your mind. Um, no, that's pretty much it. When you're lucid, the only limit is your imagination, what you could think of. And yeah, it'll it'll take time and you'll you'll learn how to do certain things better than others, but it just comes down to practice. And if you want to work with an entity to help progress this forward, or at least speed up the process, highly recommend uh, Morpheus and Hypnos. They've definitely helped me at least speed up the process and make me become lucid in my dreams a lot quicker and a lot more repeatedly. Anyway, that's all for now. Have a good night. And once again, thank you.